question of why do I do what I do, I love it. I can't help it. Maybe it's that, that old cliche of having printer's ink in your veins or something. But I have always loved books. I grew up next door to a library. Um, and I was al have always been in the arts. Um, I went to uh, art school, got a degree in painting and sculpture. And uh, it was some years out of art school when I was, had been working uh, commercially as a printer and I heard uh, a fine printer talking about how books are a form of sculpture and for me the light bulb just went on. Tom, Tom is a craftsman of the highest order. Um, Tom really is a person who looks at words and thinks about how they're going to look printed on a page and he will actually make the paper from a material that's consistent with the message of the book. Uh, then he'll choose the right typeface that goes with the message and the paper. And then he'll worry about the little tiny strip of cloth that holds the signatures of the book together, how that's going to look in the handmade binding. So he thinks about the book not simply as a finished product, but as a process, as a process, as a, as a way to engage with the message and the word, and then how it's going to look as a book on your shelf. What's it going to look like when you stand across the room? We are a print culture, and whether we know it or not, you know, if you read your cereal box in the morning or whatever, but we are a print and paper culture. And trying to get that across to people um, so it's not taken so for granted. So talking about this, sharing it, and uh, uh, sort of sharing these wonderful uh, skills that not so much that I have, but that I have found. And, and I just, I, I like people to get the same enjoyment out of them that I do. Well, as far as we're concerned in book arts, Tom does a little bit of everything. I mean, in his own right, he's a wonderful artist, curator, marbler, paper maker, but he's a wonderful resource for bringing people in for workshops and salons, and uh, it's always go to Tom if you need an answer for something. I think in terms of working here in Santa Fe, it's such a rich tradition of this dynamic of printing and the literary arts and art uh, that, that happened in the early part of the 20th century. And here at the History Museum, I have a fabulous platform to sort of express that and explore that. I like to think about Tom as a sort of modern day Gutenberg, a person who, whose approach to the messaging and approach to the work is totally about that connection between hand and eye and message and content um, and delivery. So it's, um, it's really a, a quite remarkable skill that he has.